Hey there, do you use Scene Viewer at all? I'm going to show you how you can use Worldcast to supercharge Scene Viewer, and you don't have to use the end result of what Worldcast generates. You can actually just take what's created and bring it into Scene Viewer or iOS AR Quick Look. The reason being that this is, can supercharge your workflow is that not every 3D model comes in the same unit size, right? You might get it from somebody, a third party, and you bring in the Scene Viewer or uh, iOS Quick Look, and the scale might be off, right? And if you don't know anything about 3D or that little line of code and stuff, how to actually fix it, then you don't know how to fix it or do it and you have to get somebody else to help you, right? Worldcast takes all the guesswork out of it and it'll actually make your, your model size smaller. It's gonna define reality scale for you and it's gonna make the model size smaller. And you can also add extra content like audio, images, and extra models, and as well as different animations assigned to those objects. Let me show you what I mean by this. So if I go to studio.worldcast.io, this is not live yet, this feature. Studio, the, the studio is live, but the feature I'm about to show you is going to be pushed this week sometime. So I'm just going to go to uh, Showcast, and we'll just call this Robo um, Scene Viewer Quick Look, and that's good enough. It's just to find the size of our area. This is the most important part, because we're assigning the environment so it knows what metric it's going to add to it, right? What's, what scale, what feet, inches, meters, uh, centimeters. So in this case, I'm just going to go six feet. I'm going to go create. There we go. Now I could go to Sketchfab and grab a model from there, but what happens with Sketchfab is it adds a lot of uh, it adds a lot of um, content behind the scene. It does all the work behind the scenes, so you can't see how big the model is if you're grabbing from Sketchfab. In this case, I have a model here, and it's uh, 17 megabytes. So we're going to drag it into the scene, and it's going to do right now. What it, what it will do is it compress the model and make it a smaller file size for us. And right down in here, we can see how our if we know the area that we're going to be serving the content to, this helps us understand what's going to be a 3G, 4G area. If you know that area, so you can know if that experience might be too big for a rural area or not, you can help optimize it some more. So right now, we could just export that as is by just going to the save uh, to GLB option. But you already have that, even though it's a smaller file size. Let's add a few more things here. So I'm just going to go to custom 3D. I'm just going to go to my library. I'm just going to add the Worldcast logo real quick. So I'll select that. So I'll just, I'll just position it behind the object. So if, we, if I grab this character real quick, we'll see that it's six feet tall. So that's the reality scale from the bottom to the top. And it's already ground plane, right? So it's already on the bottom. In this case, Worldcast is not. I can go zero and have it go to the snap right to the bottom of the grid. But in this case, I'm just going to quickly bring it up, scale it down, and I'm going to add a little rotation on it. So now we have like a very simple animation added to it. Is it going to clip into that? Yes, it is. Let's just move it forward or backwards rather. Let's just stop that. All right. So that's good like that. And let's just go uh, 3D text. Let's create text. Black, bring it down. We could, we could design this to the cows come home, but we're just going to put it out here, bring up a bit, and we'll say supercharge scene viewer or AR quick look. All right, so now we have that, okay? So there's our scene. I'm going to go save, save and publish. I'm going to go check it, and I'm just going to quickly scan this QR code. Let's unlock my phone. We'll see it will come up with the, uh, this is just the, this is not the standard looking Worldcast one, this is just our stage one where we mess around with, so this is not exactly how the portal looks in live. And we can just place that object that we made, and it will be six feet in the environment with all the content as we would expect it. Okay, but that's not what we want in this case. What we, what we want is we want to be able to download what we just made so we can use it in other uh, areas. So download, and we now have it downloading. So let's open up the folder, make sure we got this. It is called Robo SVQL. So let's just move this over to the side real quick. 
let's open up a GLTF viewer. And that's now open this file in here. And there is that GLB. So you can take that in the Unity Blender. You can just use, you can convert it to a USDZ, uh, USD for uh, bringing into Reality Composer if you want. And you'd be able to use this in your other AR quick look scenes or scene viewer without the use of Worldcast. So you're going to be able to, this week, there's going to be a new option in Showcast to be able to download the GLB, which is going to allow you to take those assets. And let's just see the final size, by the way. We added this logo, we added this, and we added some text. And that the original model was 17 megabytes, which was just the uh, robot. So let's see what the final size is for this, uh, this GLB. Uh, let's just see what this is. It is 8.15 megabytes with this entire so entire model now just this alone before it was 17 megabytes we've now brought it down to eight megabytes and we've added extra geometry to this okay so that is uh that final compressed size that you can use is 8.15 down from 17 uh down from 17 megabytes and we've added extra geometry so there you go that's what you're going to be able to do and i'm pretty stoked about that i can't wait to see what you create